morning, everyone. Steve Georgia here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is September 12th. Uh, we've got the grain markets actually starting off a little bit higher for corn and beans. Corn up a quarter, beans up about three, wheat actually down three. Um, after the report came out yesterday, and and we kind of uh, uh, we seen that lower push. The markets ended up rallying back near the close and actually now focusing on weather. So can we get some more strength as we go into the weekend? Temperatures uh, are remaining cold here on the U.S. models. Uh, these weather maps, um, the 32-degree uh, freeze line is coming in right through eastern Nebraska, through northern parts of Iowa and most of Minnesota. Uh, as well as some areas of, uh, of western uh, Wisconsin. So um, it's going to be cold. We've got another day of this. We know it's chilly out there today, uh, but these, are, these temperatures are going to be watched very closely. Now, the European model still not showing uh, any below or sub-32 degree temps um, out there, so we'll see. Now, social media is going to be blowing up with this here today, talking about cold weather. Can we get a little bit more of a recovery uh, for these grains? Now, these report, the report that came out yesterday, you, know, you really sort out the numbers, over 2 billion carry out for corn, uh, 475 million carry out in these beans. Uh, these are some big numbers. So not to say this is going to be trend changing and we're going to see the market go screaming higher um, if we see some colder weather, but might be enough for a bounce, but those rallies are probably still uh, selling opportunities. Another thing to focus on today, we did make some uh, sales. We had bean sales yesterday at 8 o'clock. Um, are we going to see that again? Can we see some demand come into these markets uh, at these lower levels? That's really what we're going to need to, uh, to continue to watch. We've got to get some demand in here, and we're trying to – prices are, are, I guess, working lower uh, until we find that demand. So um, can we make some sales? Watch that uh, and see if we, we get any additional sales today at 8. Uh, livestock. Cattle up 65 cents after being down more than two bucks yesterday. Box beef, though, coming in kind of mixed. Choice was up eight. Select down a dollar 83. Feeder index today, uh, 226.98. Uh, there's talks of bids at 160 in Kansas and Texas. Uh, no trade as of yet. Now this is a little disappointing. Earlier uh, this week we were talking bids at 162. Uh, so. We'll have to watch that cash trade. The futures are probably make some adjustments here once that comes out. As far as the hogs, a lot of back and forth trade. Their cutout values though up a dollar thirty-eight, so a little bit stronger after seeing uh, cutouts down here the last couple days. Um, but we'll see what the futures want to do as well. Uh, we've we've seen, uh, as I mentioned, a lot of choppy trade. We've come off these highs a little bit. Uh, so uh, watch the charts there as far as the hogs on more of a technical scale. Looking at the outside market, stock market down 17 cents, uh, gold down two bucks, silver down two cents, and the dollar down about 10 cents here today. So a little bit of profit taken here for the dollar is what it seems like. But give us a call if you guys have any questions out there. You can reach us over here at 800-262-7538 or check us out on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you again next week.